Great. So away from Kabaga's uh, achievements, let's talk matters banking today. And yes, the first time in a row that we are not talking about tech on this afternoon. Let's talk about banking. And Diamond Trust Bank is a bank that is making many fast in this space. And joining me is Al Karim Jiwa, who will help me understand a little bit about Diamond Trust Bank. Sorry, I said Diamond DTM earlier on. It's Diamond Trust Bank. Great. Um, presence in about four countries. You recently. Um, uh, did a rights issue trying to get about 3.6 billion. Where is all this heading to? Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, we did uh, initiate the rights issue, right. which we launched about two weeks ago. Uh, that process is uh, currently underway, mm -hmm. and we hope to conclude the exercise by the end of next week. Right. Uh, and the objective of the rights issue is to secure and strengthen our positioning mm -hmm. in East Africa. Right. Uh, we are present in Kenya, Tanzania, Uganda, and Burundi. Mm -hmm. And we believe that with the additional funding that we'll get from the shareholders, right. uh, we would be able to use that to uh, grow our asset base in Kenya mm -hmm. and through our subsidiaries in Tanzania and Uganda, right. uh, as well as look into expanding to other markets to uh, surrounding the region. Right. Looking at your presence over the years, 65 years is not a short time. Um, what do you think is your unique selling point as Diamond Trust Bank in this space? Well, I think we are living in a competitive landscape. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the midst of that, we believe that there are two or three areas which make DTB stand out. Mm -hmm. One, as you mentioned, is our, our long presence in the region. Correct. We have a legacy now spanning nearly seven decades mm -hmm. in Kenya, Tanzania, and Uganda. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have mature banking franchises in each of these three markets. Secondly is our uh, philosophy on customer experience right. and customer service. Mm -hmm. And the initiatives we've taken in uh, recent years towards improving customer responsiveness, uh, access, mm -hmm. etc. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, the opening of branches for extended hours right. uh, has seen us being able to provide convenience to mm -hmm. customers. Mm -hmm. Uh, out of the 100 branch network that we have, mm -hmm. over 20 are open for extended hours. Right. Uh, that's one example. And also our positioning within the SME sector. Uh, we have for a long time now uh, secured our positioning as uh, a banker to the SME sector, which as you know, in emerging markets such as in East Africa, where we are present, right. um, form the heart of, of the country's economies. Right. You've mentioned presently in the, in the emerging markets and your focus on SME, yet you've shunned the agency banking mode. Why is that? I would uh, actually say that we have uh, invested in agency banking. In fact, last year we did uh, launch our agency banking mm -hmm. franchise. Mm -hmm. Currently, we have uh, about 300 agents right. in Kenya, and we are looking at uh, quadrupling that number before the end of the year. Right. We believe agency bank will, uh, banking will form an important channel for us and supplement our branch expansion strategy, which right. has been in place for a number of years now. Right. Please describe to us your ordinary customer as DTP, because that will help us understand the many strategies that you are doing and, and how you are doing your business here. So we are a universal bank mm -hmm. uh, in East Africa. What that means is that we target uh, businesses, small, medium, and uh, even large corporates. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. However, uh, individuals, the personal sector market, uh, is an important component also of our customer base. And so we've got uh, customers across the sp uh, spectrum mm -hmm. uh, as far as the personal market is concerned uh, who form an important part of, uh, of deposit sourcing for us. Right, because the, the assumption has been uh, DTB is going for the uh, modern, you know, young or, or sophisticated banker living life on the edge, possibly living in Nairobi. Yes. Well, with a 100 branch franchise across East Africa, um, you can't afford to just be a niche marketplace. Right, right. So whilst we would target segments such as the one you described, mm -hmm. we believe that we are the bank for the ordinary one, ain't you? Right. And for all those who are involved in Biashara as mm -hmm. well. And so uh, we believe as a universal bank with a footprint across East Africa, with over 100 branches, with our investment in agency banking, right. uh, we are targeting uh, segments of customers across uh, the landscape. Right. Recently, the central bank, your regulator, came up with a new formula, if you may, but really, we all know it's not really new, but what it does is that it, it enables borrowers like myself get a better view of, of what I'm getting into when I'm, I'm, I'm sourcing for financing. What, what's your take about the KBRR? 
Yes, we believe that these are important initiatives that the central bank and the treasury have taken. Mm -hmm. uh, you're quite right. Mm -hmm. It will promote increased transparency mm -hmm. around the pricing, particularly right. of credit. Right. And we believe that eventually as our customers uh, are better informed, they will be able to make informed choices. Right. And um, the objective, therefore, of uh, having a better view of pricing will be achieved. So in essence, pricing of loans will be market driven as opposed to all the other considerations that, that lenders do. Yes. What this KBRR mechanism seeks to do mm -hmm. is to have a common benchmark rate across mm -hmm. the industry, right. which is then anchored on market forces. Right. Uh, banks will charge a margin over the KBRR to mm -hmm. take into account various factors. Mm -hmm. Very quickly, in less than a minute, talk to us about your financial numbers. You are a listed company. You're obligated to tell us that. Well, we've belie uh, I believe we've registered strong performance. Mm -hmm. uh, numbers speak for themselves. Correct. And anybody who studies our financial performance over the last, last four or five years will have seen that we continue to improve our market share. Right, right. Uh, we've improved our positioning uh, within the uh, tier two banks in Kenya. Right. And we aspire to be a leading bank uh, right. in the East African region right. going forward. Finally, are we going to see you play a more active role in the mortgage space? Yes, we do have a mortgage offering. Mm -hmm. uh, but it goes beyond just a product offering. Right. As you know, uh, the uh, economic factors also have to be enabling and conducive right. to right. enable mortgage growth. Right. And we believe that, that as interest rates stabilize, uh, then we will find a greater take up uh, and more demand for mortgages. Mm -hmm. And we believe that we can play a more active role in that segment. All right, it is uh, that point that we'll leave this conversation. I've been speaking to Al Karim Jiwa, who's a general manager at Diamond. Uh, Diamond Trust Bank, DTB, and uh, currently they, they have a cash call trying to raise 3.63 billion shillings, uh, trying to sell 22 million shares at a share price, uh, at a rights price of 165. So the information is out there. It's, uh, when does it close? It closes on Friday next week, the 25th of July. Okay, Friday 25th of July. That is where we'll leave this business conversation. And